growing up with a birthmark's been pretty hard. I got teased a lot. When I'm alone, sometimes I cry. Then I tell myself that, you know, I'm the same as everyone else. I should be able to have the same opportunities, and I go out there and make things right for myself. Many of you women out there use makeup to enhance your features or even to cover up a blemish or two, but for Michelle, no makeup could cover what she was trying to hide. Michelle was born with port wine stain birthmarks all over her body, and until today, she thought there was little hope for her. But that's not the case because makeup artist Christine Heathman, she's a master esthetician, used a new medically based makeup to transform Michelle's look. I want you all to take a look at what Michelle looked like before. Does everyone want to see the transformation? Yeah. yeah. Let's go ahead and bring her out. Come on, Michelle. You actually haven't had a chance to see yet, have you? No, I haven't. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm really okay. excited. We want you to stand right here. Okay. Are you ready? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's take a look at your before picture. And now compare the way you look now. Wow. Awesome. Does that look good? Thank That's you. Awesome. So let's come back here. Come back back over here. Mom, what do you think? Oh, wait, she looks just fabulous. She's so beautiful. Christine, she always has been, but magical. It is magical. You really it's, did yeah. your work. Now I know that you call this medical makeup. Mm -hmm. So explain to us how medical makeup is different from what we would buy at the department store. Well, significantly different because obviously what we use in this component is that is a high titanium dioxide concentration, which is a sun block. And because Michelle has a port wine stain, mm -hmm. it makes it very different. Her skin is highly sensitive to the ultraviolet radiation. And it's important that you protect that particular condition as well as be able to transform the skin. It's like a second skin. So obviously it's going to last on her longer. Absolutely. It will last on her all day. And we, all, we always suggest that she takes it off every night because that's good skin care health, but it will last all day long. And this is something that she can do herself at home? Oh, she'll do better than I did. <laughs> she, she will become a master because she knows her own skin. And the thing that makes it also so unique with uh, this particular makeup is we're all animated. And so regular makeup over the counter will begin to move and split and you'll start to see the demarcation lines. This you won't have that because it adheres to the non-porous surfaces. I knew you were going to do the face. I didn't realize that you were doing the arms too. And this way it allows her to yes. wear something sleeveless, to wear something that uh, maybe she wouldn't have normally worn. Absolutely. So it's not so it's not just for port wine stains, other congenital things. What would be some of the uh, indications for this great well, medical makeup. surgical um, in the, any individual goes in for reconstructive surgery or cosmetic surgery, bruises. It's an everyday makeup that can be used on the skin because of its ability to protect from ultraviolet radiation. It gives a second skin. That's what I use for my everyday makeup because it's important that you protect the skin because we know that ultraviolet drives the aging process of the skin. Exactly. So that's an important factor. And most makeups out there in the makeup world are are not able to satisfy that need. And most importantly, what do you think? I love it. I, I feel just like everyone else out here now. Thank you. That's a whole lot. Now, I know that she's undergoing multiple. There is a treatment. There is pulse dye treatments that I know that you're doing, but they're, you have to repeat them. It's so, a long going process. She has to go in, and since she has such extensive port wine stains, 
They try to do all of the body at once, which means she has to get anesthesia, and there's a recovery period after that because right after the treatment, it actually looks worse. Yes, it does. But I, but I can tell that in looking at you when you're in the audience that you are starting to fade a little bit, but this is going to help her bridge that gap right away. Well, you, you know, this is like applying makeup in the morning for any woman. Absolutely. And, and I'm sitting here, I can't take my eyes off you because the transformation is complete. Yeah, you know, I, you, you look like you're wearing makeup like anyone else, and you're, you look beautiful. And if you have people staring at you, it's because you're beautiful. It's not for any reason other than you. And our friends at Glymed have a gift for Michelle. They're going to send her home with your own supply of this makeup. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Christine, so much. And Michelle, good luck, and thank you for sharing your story thank with you. us. Thank you. Now, we're going to show everyone a simple solution for getting rid of those bags under your eyes coming up next.